So when it comes to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, there is a lot to talk about, from an awesome display to awesome cameras. So let's get started. Okay, so as for getting into the phone, there are two options on how you can get into your device. There is Face ID, which most of the time is pretty accurate. And then there is the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, which I found is super reliable. Just one simple tap of your finger and you're instantly in. And then for Face ID, it is pretty fluid too. As you can see, sometimes it doesn't get your face all the time. Yeah, so I usually I just end up using the fingerprint scanner. But yeah, so that's for getting into the phone. And now I'm going to talk about the display and customization. Okay, so this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a curved display which goes over the edge and I think it looks really nice. Just so you guys know, there is a pre-installed screen protector on here. As you can see, there's a lot of scratches and it does add extra bezel. So just so you guys are aware that this is not the, you know, state of the bezels all the time. So yeah, so for the display, it is 120 Hertz Super AMOLED display panel, which can scale this refresh rate to 120 when you're scrolling and then scale it down to one refresh one hurt one hertz which refreshes your screen once per second and as for the actual display screen resolution there is quad hd plus which is 300 or 3088 by 1440 or you can do fhd plus or hd plus which i always have it set to the max because as you can see here, you just get cleaner images and it's just a lot more sharp. So yeah, that is for the display. And now I'm going to talk about customization. So as you guys might know, the Galaxy S23 Ultra gets shipped with this pretty nice but standard wallpaper. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get this to look like this. And as you can see, this is a beautiful wallpaper with the this clock analog widget and the weather battery information google search bar some widgets over here my apps and yes yeah, so i'm going to show you guys how to customize your galaxy s23 ultra to the fullest extent okay so to customize the home screen what you're going to do once you see the home screen is press and hold and then to add widgets you just go to widgets but for now i'm going to just apply different wallpapers so you're going to go here and then how you customize this is pretty close to how you customize an iPhone on iOS 16. So what you're going to do is go to change wallpapers. You can either choose from recents, favorites, videos, camera, etc. Anything that's on your device. There's some featured wallpapers with different colors of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And there's also these nice colors and then wallpaper service. And then also graphical, which I think look really nice with this one kind of like puffs with different colors and you can also switch between the home screen and lock screen to see which one you like better and see if that's a good fit and also you just you can make that any size choosing different fonts colors make your own color or just pick the default color that they think looks best i like this blue color i think that looks really vibrant and bright so what you're going to do is just hit done and then automatically that is saved as your wallpaper and then just to add some widgets and stuff to make your home screen look nice what we're gonna do is go to widgets or press and hold go to widgets and then choose a selection of any of these many widgets but i went ahead and did that so i'm going to show you guys so this is my default home screen i like all the different widgets with that analog widget just constantly moving i think that's kind of cool and so yeah, this is how you customize the home screen, but I'm going to show you guys how to get blue bubbles on Android. Okay, so as you might already know, by default, your colors for the messages will not be blue. So whenever you text someone and send the message, it'll be whatever your default theme is. And just to set your theme, you know, wallpapers and then color palette. So whatever that is set to, your messages will be, you know, customized to that color. But 
with the use of the Good Luck app, you can make your messages blue like an iMessage. So what we're gonna do is go into the Good Luck app and I'll leave links for all of these apps I'm gonna use down in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. And within the Good Luck app, you're gonna find Theme Park and you're going to go to like create a new theme. So let's see, you can create it and then you can go to messages. And this is one that I created myself. Um, it does help to have a iPhone like for a reference for like the blue bubbles or you could just go with just blue or honestly any color that you want. And you can also customize like the shapes of your icons, just stuff like that. And you can also do like keyboard timers and certain stuff you cannot customize yet. Hopefully within One UI 6, everything about your phone will be customizable. Um, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with what we have for customization on One UI 5. So just hit apply. And then once it finishes, okay, you're gonna go into messages again and you can see they switch from purple to blue. As you can see, there are your blue messages on an Android phone. Okay, so what you might not know is that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is equipped with a 200 megapixel sensor, which is one of the biggest sensors on the market. And I honestly think it does a really good job with its cameras, even the regular 12 and the times at uh, 10 times optical zoom does better than any phone on the market, even that of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So for a quick test, I took a picture of, let's see, some crates in the 2000 megapixel mode. As you can see, you can clearly see all of the lettering. It's a little bit fuzzy, but you can, it's everything's clearly, you know, you can see everything clearly all the letters and everything. And as you can see, that was taken in 2000 megapixels or 200, sorry. And then in 12 megapixels, same image as you can see, just in 12. If you zoom into the same spot, can't even really zoom in that far, but as you can see that it is extremely fuzzy which I find is really fascinating that you can just get so much detail with one single camera, especially that of a smartphone. So yeah, that's just a small sample and I can put some others on screen here for you to see of just the amazing camera quality of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Okay, this is another example in 12 megapixels, as you can see, the phone gets a really good dynamic range and it gets just so much detail of this plant. It's like, kind of like you're looking at the plant. I think it's did a really good job of just catching all the details as you can see. And again, this is only in the 12 megapixel mode. So that just shows how good the camera is on this phone. So as for cameras, I would definitely say that it's a great experience and if you're looking for a phone at a relatively low cost and you want like the best cameras, I would definitely go for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Okay, and now for the ecosystem of devices with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So personally, I have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 5. And I would say that this is probably one of my favorite smartwatches, even that of the, um, it was an iPhone 14, of the Apple Watch Series 8. Um, as you can see, this was, let's see, a very heavy usage with, I was, let's see, focus. Not that much. Sorry, not sure what happened there. Okay. So, that's really overexposed. Okay. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it says I've gotten one day and 12 hours of battery life, but this was from a half charge. So it was only at 50% and now it is at 8%. So for battery life, the Galaxy Watch 5 definitely does really good. And as for the Buds 2 Pro, 
I would say that these are by far the best earbuds on the market with Samsung's Seamless Codec and Hi-Fi 24, 24-bit audio. And once I started using them, when I went back to my AirPods Pro 2, they just felt like they didn't have enough sound quality. Even though AirPods are still really good, I just always go to grab my Galaxy Buds 2 just because I prefer them. And as for active noise canceling ambient mode, um, I would say Galaxy Buds definitely have a better, or sorry, AirPods definitely have a better ambient mode. And as for noise canceling, I'd say they're probably pretty similar um, with the AirPods being a little bit better. But I went on a trip and took my Galaxy Buds, and when I was on the plane, it canceled all the noise. So the Galaxy Buds definitely get the job done. So that's probably it for ecosystems. And also, it's up to you on, you know, which devices you want to use. But yeah, I just thought I would share my input real quick about that. And now lastly, which is the most important thing, is the price. I'm going to put the prices up here for you guys to see. Real quick so i'll let you guys look at that for like you know a few seconds okay and as for colors you have this exclusive to Samsung's website blue color, which I absolutely love. It's a very vibrant and yet not overpowering blue. Yeah, it's not like a super dull blue. Um, I would say it's similar to the Galaxy Z Flip 5, that blue, um, in, or Z Flip 4, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would say it's similar to the blue of the Z Flip 4. Um, which is actually why I got that color um, in this because it matches my Z Flip 4 and honestly I love this color and you also get a cream color, a gray green, a lavender color, and black and then you also have um, this um, blue one and you also get like a reddish orange one as you can see here and you also get a lime color and a phantom black phantom gray i'm not sure which one i'll leave it right here so you guys can see but yeah so that's for the colors and the price um but for price i personally paid um 1500 for this device and as you can see it is the 512 gigabyte version so it definitely has more storage and keep in mind that was with some accessories and stuff so that was not just the device like i got a charger i got samsung's 10,000 milliamp power battery charging like pack like rechargeable battery pack and also like a case and some few other accessories so honestly i'd say for price this is definitely worth it you're getting awesome cameras a strong design very durable glass on the front and back and a great display you know with biometrics and everything so honestly if you guys are out there looking for a new smartphone and you guys are considering getting the galaxy s23 ultra i would definitely recommend it to you know you or you could recommend it to a friend or anything um, but yeah, so that those are my thoughts on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you enjoyed this review and found it helpful, please consider, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in my next video. See you then.